Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moshix mainframe channel. This is Moshix. And today we're going to be having some fun with Rex. Before I go to Rex, also one more thing. Um, I've been uh, very, very active on our Discord channel. I'm going to be putting uh, the link to the Discord channel in the description below this video, as well as um, there's a lot of activity on the Moshix channel on the Facebook page. Uh, a lot of people are interacting there and helping each other, getting things done. Uh, there are some of the leaders uh, of the community are there helping uh, people very actively. We've done, we've accomplished some actually some very interesting things there. So I invite you all to come to the Discord channel and talk to the other experts, uh, as well as uh, visiting the Moshix Mainframe channel. And the link again is in the description below this video. So let's get to Rex again. As you may remember, in the previous three or four videos, I've been was having some fun with Assembler and accessing some of the. MVS or ZOS control blocks and today we're going to continue doing that. Um, as you can see here from this great diagram I found out on the internet at Marist University. Marist is uh, the leading mainframe uh, educational university. It's uh, very close to IBM's headquarters and so I guess IBM has an agreement to provide them with know-how and I guess equipment and software and on the other hand Mar Marist has, uh, produces great quality educational uh, content. So as you can see here, we're going to be using Rex to explore this control blocks. What we're going to do today is the Rex equivalent of who am I, uh, the uh, assembler utility I wrote in M59 and M50, M60 uh, that, it, that you type in, kind of like the Unix assembler utility that you type in, who am I, and it tells you who you logged in on uh, in TSO. So we're going to do this today with the Rex. So you can see here, uh, the way to find all this information is always to swing from one uh, control block uh, to the next. We start the uh, program uh, save area, then we go to the common vector table, and then we swing the address, address space control blocks, etc. etc. Uh, from here, we go to the assembler, the address space extension block and then we go to find out more and more control blocks until we get the information we need uh, what we need today is the information i'm going to be linking to, by the way to this uh, to this great document here because anybody who wants to experiment with uh, systems programming in mbs us will want to use this uh, here is a diagram i've used extensively in the past as you can see here let me it's a little bigger these are the control blocks that are very very important for everything we do so again here is the central one the cvt from the cvd we'll swing over always to the um, uh, address space control block which is probably uh, somewhere here let's find the address space control block uh, should we here Let's see if you if you see it shout, but a little louder so I can hear you. Because I can't hear you. Well, I can't see it, but it must be here somewhere. And from there we go, as I said again, to the ASXB, etc., etc., until we find the information we need. Obviously, we need control blocks pertaining to TSO. Um, and so let's start programming to get this all done. I've already looked up. Uh, some stuff here and as well I have an exemplar by one Mr. Mark Zeldin uh, how he does it in Rex but we're going to do it a little differently than he does because otherwise where's the learning effect so let's get started um, I'm just going to call it Rex who am I okay so every Rex program needs to start with the Rex comment And I'm going to now switch to accelerated mode so that you don't have to um, uh, hear me thinking all the time. So um, have, enjoy watching me program in uh, 2.5 times accelerated mode.
Okay, so we got here the bare minimum, uh, which I think is required to run this. As you can see here, we used extensively all the help out in the internet, uh, as I put also on the uh, on the little text uh, before. Imagine how we got this done uh, 30, 35, 40 years ago when <laughs> you had to pull out 10, 15 manuals to write a little program like this. And nowadays it's just minutes. Um, it's just so much better. Productivity has increased in IT probably 30, 40 fold um, in the last 30, 40 years. Okay, so let's see what we got here. We got the CVT, um, we're swing to the ASCB, ASXP. Then we got to get some uh, information from RecF. We put it in an output line and I already have some ideas how we can expand this, but we'll do this later. Then we um, dereference. Uh, this is a function I wrote, which um, it's to do some bit-wise uh, um, logical operations with a full um, unsigned bit here and a uh, byte, and um, uh, so we can get meaningful information extracted. Um, and uh, I had to look up a couple of these things, and uh, let's see if this runs. Uh, so let's save it. Is it here? Exec. Yep, <laughs> runs the first time. I'm always surprised at myself when things run the first time ever. I haven't done this before, so I, I did this on the go. But um, so this runs. So now we could invoke it from TSO from anywhere else. We could compile it. But let's see now how we can add some more inf meaningful information since we already have all these blocks. Let's add a little bit more stuff to it so that. For instance, the terminal we're logged in from, which I sometimes um, find useful, especially in our MBS, in our cloud MBS. And by the way, I'm going to put in here um, also a shameful plug here. We have an MBS instance running in our cloud. Uh, we have about 70, 80 users on it right now, and it's being used every day for people who don't want to run out their own uh, MBS at home and have to keep it running all the time, have to keep the machine on all the time. So we have one in the cloud that's accessible to everybody who sends me an email with the real name, the purpose of what they want to do, a little bit about themselves, and the user ID that they prefer and the preferred password, and they'll create them a user. Um, so this picture, we have M60 or M61 is talking about this in the previous video. So um, I'll put some description in the, uh, so a little bit more, more info in the description below this video. But please uh, do sign up for our uh, MBS in the cloud. Um, anyway, so let's see how we can add more stuff to that. Although, of course, we don't have MBS running, uh, Rex running in MBS. Maybe um, in the future, IBM will be generous and 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 and, uh, and and give us MBS XA which does have Rex uh, which is have been asking IBM for a while now uh, it could only do them good nothing bad will come out to IBM if they give to the community access to MBS XA it's 34 years old uh, they don't use it commercially anymore uh, I don't understand why we can't have it so let's add a little bit more information to this um, output field so, comma. Okay, I want some space here to program. Um, let's get the terminal. Um, terminal, we get just. Um, yeah, we cannot get it directly from here. We need to get access to the field, which is an ACE, it's a RecF database. Let's call this um, and that should be ACE plus something. Uh, IBM ACE table. We need to get the stuff mm. hmm. 
where do we find this? This is a complex table to use. I've never done it before. I've seen some articles about it. Oh, did you see this? It's six to four bytes off, okay. But we need to, mm, we need to convert this information. This is not human readable as it is here, because this is not, yeah. Um, So let's see how we do this. Um, pain load. Um, return. How do you Rex? Uh, um. Return string with leading or training of removed. Oh, this is there's actually <laughs> there's actually a, a Rex. So yeah, so it removes all the yeah. Um, how do this? to get to from storage like here and then argument um, and then arc two See how many breaks we need to close here. We got one. So a modern editor is obviously you would okay three uh, would would uh, highlight the breaks here, which we don't have in the. Oh, actually we do have some highlighting. So we need to have something wrong here with the one, two, three. Oh yeah, I know why. Yeah, so actually there is uh, breaks highlighting. Sorry for not speaking highly enough of ISPF. Um, so now we say here term, but we need to remove all the trailing blanks, and so we say per payload. Term equals payload of ACE for a length of eight. I think that's what we saw before. So um, <clears throat> let's see if we can get this done correctly. Sorry if this is taking a little while. Um, this should work. Who am I? And where am I? Okay, so let's see if this works. Oops, nope. Routine not found. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know what the problem is. Um, strip. Yeah, we actually have it here. So let's try again. Yes. Okay. So we got the terminal logged in as, as well as the username. That's a nice who am I and where am I uh, information. So this works. We could add more stuff we could add 
um, the IS the um, TSO procedure we used. So we'd have just have to look up um, all the stuff we have in the ACE table, which is the one we just used before. Um, you can see here all this information is accessible. So let's say we want to add um, what other stuff. Um, let's say. Mm, terminal level number. Mm, some stuff needs to be converted into human readable form. User class authorization. Yeah. Anyway, you get the idea. It's very easy. Um, address of the list of characters which you is allowed access. We could do that. I mean, this this just um, length of four. There's a lot more data that we could put in here. Um, if you want to have the the sys the let's say um, what other information can we get out of here? Well, I mean, it, I don't know. It, it's just it's just a programming. It's very very simple programming. I'm not going to uh, make this video longer than it needs to be. Um, as you can see, this is all very easy. Let's test it once again. Um, yes, so we can also invoke it from the TSO. Um, from the RX, who am I? So we can do this here. Invoke it from the TSO. Command line, just to show you. Okay, exit. should work yes okay so we got one more system programming video done um, you could extend this as long as as far as you want uh, I'm sure that if you uh, go to the discord channel and ask me or the other people who are always there on the channel for more help on how to get this done we can uh, get it done we can all help you and uh, please uh, do send us any um, programming examples that you create yourself with uh, Rex or any any utilities that you use. Uh, it's always interesting to see what other people do, uh, either on the Mosh on the Facebook page at uh, Chicks Mainframe Channel, linked in the description below this video, or at the Discord channel, or as a question as a comment to this video. I hope you had fun watching me do this. I had a lot of fun writing it. I thought of it just the other day on the flight um, back and um, and we got it done today just in a couple of minutes thank you for watching uh, this uh, moshix video please consider subscribing to the moshix mainframe channel to get notifications of future videos and have a great day goodbye